Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Uh, hello, hello. John Marston. Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of uh, dirty-minded pragmatists like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. <laughs> How can uh, I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. Oh. And he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. And he's gonna really hate my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Marston. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear. I do not approve of this behavior. Talk to your passenger a moment. Okay, drive. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. An appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no. <laughs> this is not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can be a whole lot more impudent than this. But this is for a great cause. And for a wealthy man such as yourself, a chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? To help finance a library in town. Just think of the prestige. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor... The mayor? The mayor is a crook. Me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. Sorry? Was that... Yes! I would like to finance the library for the common good! Ah! I can't hear you! Ah! What was that? Ah! Please! All right! All right! There. See? That wasn't difficult. You know, they say... It's better to give than to receive, and certainly in the case of a beaten, I know that to be true. The mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. You should let him live a little more. Driver! Hold up! As you were. Move on!
Ain't you special? Made it this far, eh, girl? I could have. It's you. Come in. Where's... what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yeah? Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Marston, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... Go on. Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Uh, is that my business? Oh, no, no. <laughs> of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh, <laughs> I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Mr. Marston. 